Hey everyone, Marion the Barbarian here, and in today's shave we are going to be using Colonel Conk Amber, the Vintage Ever Ready 1924 Gym Blade, some Vintage Skin Bracer, and my TDR Board Brush, and we'll be right back with the shave. All right, everyone, we got a shave for you today. We're gonna to see how it goes. I have not used Colonel Conk before. I don't know if this is the one CDB sent me or the Razor Company sent me to do a video on. Um, if it's the Razor Company, sorry, I haven't done a video on it. Um, CDB, sorry, I haven't gotten around to it till now. Um, we're gonna use it. We're gonna, y'all see how we're gonna use it soon. So this is a gym. 1924 shovel head. The shovel head hinges this direction. You'll see. And just, oh no, no. Let's hope we didn't mess up the blade. So it hinges like that. The other one, I'll show you the other one. Spend a little bit of time talking about the razor. This one had issues. Y'all see the little things. I had to bend it to make sure the blade stays in place. It wasn't before. I have a backup razor if this doesn't work out, but we're gonna see if it works out. And my other one, the 1912, opens like this. Y'all can see, sorry. It opens like that. And this one flips the other direction. You can tell which head's a little bit more sleek than the other, but we're gonna give this one a go. We got a Persona gem blade in there. And when I'm lathering up, I'll give you a little bit of history on this. So we're going to flick out. Well, let's wet the Colonel Conk first. So we're going to apply the Colonel Conk Amber, whoa, to the face, gliss glycerin soap. And honestly, this scent seems so familiar. I can't remember, but it reminds me of... Um, It's a little bit like Skin Bracer, the powdery. I guess they say ambery, woodsy, but it's powdery. And I know it's not Skin Bracer that it smells like. It's what I picked to go with it. But there's something I'll figure out one of these days that this smells like. And you know there's not scent notes everywhere or something like that. That over. And I don't know that I face lathered with this before, but we're going to see how it goes. Never used the conk before. But y'all know I've been doing some of these cheaper shaves lately. And I do want to see how the shovel head works out. So we're going to talk about this shovel head. Pardon the hair, guys. We're, we dropped the kids off and we're doing some cleaning around the house. I will shower later, as a matter of fact. That's why I'm using Skin Bracer. Scent doesn't hang around. I don't feel like I'll be wasting it to put it on tonight and then take a shower later. So. If I have to go to the puck, I will. I just wanted to see if, you know, my face lathering technique that I like to use for pucks is working out. Um, anyways, the 1924 shovel head. I do think they're... I think they said the design was 1914, 1915, and we'll get to why they call it uh, losing hairs, guys. I don't like gel tip bores. You'll hear that in this channel a lot. But uh, anyways, I do think they said there was a variant of the shovel head in 1909 with the hinge in the other direction. Um, and even though it came out, I think it was 1914, 1915, I haven't looked this up in a while. So I'm trying to go off my memory. They call it a 1924 because that's the year Sears and Roebuck catalog it showed up in. It was a 1924. So that's a little history behind it. I do have the Persona Gem blade in there. Let's hope it works out. If not, uh, I don't know. We may pull out a Gillette Tech just to keep it re retro. But I didn't do all the uh, um, research on it like I should have to give you all, all the information. But that's what I remember. So some of it could be a little off. If you know better than I do, please comment below. But this is not a good looking 
shovel head. I think it came in a lot of razors where I got like five or six razors for like 20 bucks. And you can see the brassing. There's some rough spots up here, but like I said, sometimes you just want a razor to work. And when you're going vintage, you're not always going to get cream of the crop. And if you do, you're probably overpaying. And if I'm going to overpay, might as well get one cheap while I enjoy it. And if I want it to look brand new, I'll pay somebody to revamp it, like clean it up, nickel plate it, and all that good stuff. All right. Lather seems to be working okay. What do you think, guys? Amber. It's really a powdery, powdery scent. No scent notes. Like I said, I'm sure Colonel Cox doesn't have scent notes for any of this. Sorry. Shower's still set up from when the kids take a bath. I throw the thing over the side. You know, that way it doesn't get into the bath. Let's see if we have any more lost hairs. It's a very nice scent, though, surprisingly, the amber scent. I mean, nothing complex or anything. Just a nice scent. Simple scent. Here we go. Fingers crossed, the blade stays in place. So far, so good. And I mean, it's just mowing it down. Like a squeegee. Really comfortable. I do believe these are what the PTFE coated blades. And of course we still got this taking forever to heal. I think it takes so long guys because it's right in the crack of the mouth and you talk, it opens up, all that stuff. A little piece of alum. That way y'all don't have to see blood the whole time. And what looks like a damn herpes sore. Oh yeah. I mean, it's a nice shaver, guys. I am enjoying the amber. It's a really nice scent. So far feeling great, guys. Check that blade, make sure it's holding in. Oh, it's in place, that's awesome. Because I've messed with this a few times and couldn't get it fixed. It looks like this time I did. complicated to get underneath the nose there. I think they call it a shovel head because it's like trying to shave with the shovel. Oh, we did nick right here. Wow, there's not looking beautiful. Let's go to the puck a little. I like how ambery it looks and clear it is. Now I pulled this puck out last night and I sat it out, pulled it out of the packaging and sat it on this little soap holder that's built into the wall. You know, like they did back in the 60s or whatever, however long they continue to do it. But this one is from the 60s. They, uh, sweats it gets like this beady glycerin gloss to the top I mean this lather actually feels pretty good 
like I said, I do enjoy the amber. There's something simple, something familiar about it. And skin bracers smell slightly like it, but not completely. The powderiness is very similar. So, we did nick ourselves today, but that's okay. So much crap going on. A lot going through the head. Personal work stuff. Work buddies, personal stuff. Just got off the phone with. Dealing with so much crap. So crazy. Everybody's going through shit, it seems like, all the time, man. Life is never easy. It's definitely what I'm learning. And I don't think it's easy for much of anybody. So... And if life is easy on you, you probably make the best decisions every damn time. Because let's be honest, sometimes life is hard because you're poor at making decisions. Or some of your decision making was very poor. Oh yeah. I had like the closest shave the other day. I was shaving in the shower. Use that light foots because that stuff dissipates easily and it's slick. And I just hand lathered that stuff on my face. And I probably over shaved, but I don't think I got any irritation. From that, uh, I don't feel like I got any irritation from the uh, over shaving in the shower. And of course, what was I using? The trusty TRC DE razor. If y'all watch CDB's video, he's been using it for a little while, and I can't blame him. I was telling him when he got it in, I was like, man, you got to give it a go. Just give it a go. I know you like more blade feel, but this is a nice razor for the price point, everything. But anyways, guys, y'all know the drill. We're going to rinse up and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. So could have been a little closer, but we weren't going to push it with that razor. I, I was a little worried about how it was going to perform. Now, skin bracer vintage. So if and when I run out of the vintage, I'm probably going to decant my new into it because that's a sweet looking bottle, guys. So we're just going to use a little, let it pour into the hand. By the way, the PAA method would have worked on that one because of the style restrictor. But I just poured a little out the side. Oh, yeah. Great scent. Complements that well. <sighs> By men and love the ship love the ship it's really good so the shovel head did work out we're gonna pop the top Ooh, rinse the inside out i will say under the cap appeared to get a little grosser like held on to the hair and lather and stuff more than the other one does so that could be the downside of the shovel head but I bought it a long time ago in a lot, and I was like, dude, that's a different one. I kind of want that one. All right. We're using the TDR. Mm, I don't know that it's olive wood. It could be. Can't remember. And my shitty gel board knot. The board knot's going to stay in here until I break all the tips, and the thing's probably going to be like only this tall. And then I'll love it. It'll be great. All right, guys. So y'all know the drill. Uh, hopefully we get this video up tomorrow. Maybe we can do more this week. And I hope y'all have a wonderful week. And thank you for viewing. And have a great day.